So Jurassic World Chaos Theories trailer has just released literally 30 minutes ago and there are so many scenes in there I'm going to break down for you right now. First of all, the first 30 seconds is kind of like a recap from a news teller perspective. There's nothing new, there's not really any new story, it's just summarising that they left the island, they're survivors, the new Blast 6. Now at the 35 second mark, this is where the things start to heat up and get extremely interesting. And this is where I want to focus all my attention. Because we see this rundown hut which looks to be like in in the middle of a forest, in the middle of nowhere, Darius then opens the door with a cattle prod in tow and immediately starts to attack without even knowing who or what is at the door. This tells me this scene is taken when Darius has already been hunted or attacked by something and he is running scared. We then see Ben and he all but confirms to Darius that they're being hunted by someone. Now obviously this someone will come on to later on. Darius then is very, obviously very confused and he starts searching the dark web, hence it's called Dark Jurassic. This must be like some type of Reddit where he's searching to see what's going on because you can clearly see like the up votes, the down votes, etc. So it's like a subreddit based in their universe on Jurassic Park. Then we see him in some type of what looks like a barn or a shed. This reminds me of that scene we see in Dominion with Claire trying to rescue the dinosaurs. Maybe they are going on to do the same thing and letting loose all obviously the dinosaurs into the world. Because obviously we know this is set after Fallen Kingdom and pre-Dominion. And then after this barn scene it then switches to a velociraptor or raptor of some kind outside behind the blinds. As the story continues we then learn that these are the atrocity raptors and to me this is the part where it kind of clicks and starts to make sense a little bit because the atrocity raptors they're being hunted. We obviously know Sonia Santos from Dominion was obviously hunting people as well tracking people down using the only atrocity raptors we know of in the Jurassic universe. This to me basically tells me that Sonia Santos has sent an atrocity raptor to pack after the new Blast 6. Now one of the reasons she could have done this is obviously they have extensive knowledge of the experimentations on Manticorp Island, what went on originally in Jurassic Park with the hybrid project of the Scorpius Rex. And let's not forget, the leader of Biosen, Lewis Dodson, was involved with Manticorp. And who does Sonia Santos work for in Dominion? That's right, Lewis Dodson. So it is highly likely that Lewis Dodson has sent Sonia Santos after the new Blast 6 because they know about his dealings with Manticorp. And at the time, that was extremely illegal. They were using brain chips to try and control the dinosaurs. We already know that he's extremely dodgy himself because he tries to get Chris Platt slash Owen Grady killed kidnaps their adopted daughter Maisie and all kinds of things. So yes, it's highly likely that he is the one who sent Sonia Santos with the Atrocity Raptors after the new Blast 6. We then see Darius running from one of the Atrocity Raptors which looks to be like some type of storage yard with crates in the background and these next few stills are extremely interesting because what we seem to see here Looks like some type of Spinosaurus ramming into Darius's and Ben's van. It's obviously not the Spinosaurus because the sail is obviously too small. Now I know what you're thinking, you could be thinking Spinoraptor, right? I know a lot of people want the Spinoraptor in the series, they love the Spinoraptor, but it's highly likely that's not going to be the case. It's more than likely going to be an Irritator, I believe, which is a smaller, basically, Spinosaurid. Or it could be a baby Spinosaurus, but the fin slash sail doesn't look big enough in my opinion. So for now, I'm going to say that is a smaller Spinosaurid, the Irritator. Now this next scene is obviously quite obvious in my eyes. It's obviously the Allosaurus. And this could be the same Allosaurus we see in Jurassic World Dominion's Malta scene. Obviously it looks a little bit smaller, so it could be the sub-adult version, obviously before it grows up, because this could be set in 2019, 2020, a few years prior to the events of Dominion. We obviously know dinosaurs are out in the world at this stage. And then we see the Atrocity Raptor pounce up in the night that obviously Ben and Darius, you see Ben there, he's obviously carrying the taser stick, and you see Darius to the left hand side. And at that point there, that's the end. That is the end of the trailer. And what is extremely interesting to me is we see no scenes with Rexy at all, no scenes with Blue or Baby Beta, and nothing on any of the other campers. Now, it is possible they could be saving this for other trailers to come out later or other seasons as such. But the fact that we haven't seen any of the other campers in this trailer, the two staple dinosaurs, Blue and Rexy, tells me they're either going to come at a later date or be in another season entirely. 
But upon saying that, they have given us a big glimpse into what the story would be. And to be honest, I kind of thought this was going to be the case 12 months or so ago anyway, when I did my concept trailer and my theorizing what it was going to be set on. I kind of had a feeling it was going to go this way. I called it over 12 months ago. I'd be extremely surprised if we don't see Lewis Dodson turn up and be the one who's behind the scenes pulling the strings, commanding Sonya and her atrocity pack. But then again, I could be wrong. Who knows? Another big point to note is that Ben does actually say he has to warn the others. So Ben obviously has further information as to Darius. Ben is obviously the main catalyst to this event. He's obviously found out some information which we haven't seen in the trailer. Because let's not forget, Ben was still working on that island, the Manticorp island with Dr. Turner. Because obviously we see him in there like little Skype call at the end of one of the seasons, if I remember correctly now. So it could be that Ben learned even more information about Manticorp, the dodgy dealings, the connection to Biosen. And obviously Biosen at this point in time wants to be known as one of the leading forces in the world and wants to control the market. Hence why we have Dominion, the Locust storyline. It'll be interesting to see where they take this story, what dinosaurs we're going to see, Obviously, we've just seen a brand new Spinosaurid, for one, out in the world. So where's that come from? Who cloned that? Did it come from Jurassic World? Did it come from Biosyn? Did it come from Manticorp? And obviously, we have the Atrocity Raptor pack. Is Sonia Santos still in command of them? We're going to assume so, because she's the one who says you have to nurture the loyalty, implying that she'd been with this Raptor pack a very long time. So if she isn't the one controlling the Raptor pack there, that will not make sense from a law perspective, because it's heavily implied in Dominion. I do find it quite odd that we haven't seen a Rexy roar because Rexy roaring in nearly all the trailers of Camp Cretaceous and everything else, all other bits of media, seems very strange for him not to finish on a massive T-Rex roar, but an atrocity raptor lunge slash pounce. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first trailer of a few spots we're going to see because obviously we haven't seen any of the campers, we haven't seen Rexy, Blue, or even Baby Beater at this stage. So it's highly likely that we'll see them in the future. And if we don't, that's a big telltale sign that there's going to be further seasons. It'd be interesting to see if they bring back any other characters such as the camp counsellors. Because if I remember rightly, I did see a tweet on Twitter, I don't know if I can find it now to show you guys in the video, that they were commencing recording. The two voice actors which played the counsellors were saying, in that they were recording voice lines. And who knows, perhaps we could see the return of other characters. The return of Hap, which I did many moons ago. I'd love to see Hap return. I thought he was a great character. And it's a shame that they kind of killed him off. Although I'm still praying for him to return. I did a video on it here if you want to see it. And if you want to continue with the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park theme, I highly recommend checking out the video on Muldoon, John Arnold, what happened to Nedry's body in Jurassic Park. It's Easter. Go on, get yourself a Jurassic Park marathon. Get onto my channel and watch them videos now. You won't be disappointed. I promise. And I'd like to thank all my YouTube members on screen now and DVM Wannabe 1018 especially for being a research executive and if you want to support the channel consider becoming a channel member in the link in description below. Can I solve all Jurassic Park and world mysteries? You bet Jurassic can. Catch you later.